Hello and welcome. Getting started with Odoo. In this video, I will show you how to set up your instance. We'll have a look at the company, the user, and setup language. Let's start. I'm going back to the instance I've just created. Let's go to the settings. Here in the menu, click on settings. And now I have here the possibility to set up my instance. I will start with set up my company. So click on the company. I have now the list view of all my companies and I will click on your company. Now, of course, I would like to enter my own name of my company. For that, I click on edit. And now I'm able to change the name. I also would like to upload my logo. So we click on the icon here to edit it. And just by double click on an icon, it will be uploaded. Let's first save it. Maybe I will just refresh my browser to make the logo appear actually on the left menu. That's better. Let's continue. In the, in the General Information tab, I will first enter the address. Let's enter the city, the zip code, and choose the country. We have the possibility to enter the company tagline, the company website. So if we have a website, it's always nice to enter it. Then in the right column, you can enter your phone number. A fax number, if you do have it. A email address, which will be the general email address of your company. Let's first save it. You are also able to enter your bank accounts. So let's enter a bank account. Just click back on edit and now I have here add an item. And I will enter a bank account. So as you can see, we have blue fields. Well, these are actually default fields we need to enter. So let's do it. Let's enter account number. Give it an account bank name and save it. Let's save again. Let's have a look at the other tabs. The configuration tab. Over here, you'll be able to set up the main currency of your company. We can of course choose amongst all existing currencies. The report configuration tab. As you can see here, a report footer has been created for you. It has actually taken over the data you've just entered in a tab before. Well, if you would like to make some changes, you just click on custom footer and now the field has become editable. So up to you to enter more information. You can also choose the paper format on which you would like your report to be printed. Let's save it. Now, let's move on to the users. Going back to the left menu and click on the users. A first user has been created. Let's have a look on it. Now, the email address. Well, that email address is the one you will need to enter as a user to log on Odoo. So I will enter my email address. A little bit below, 
you have the tab access rights. Those access rights will be installed when you install new modules so that you don't have all access rights by the start. Because I've installed TRM, I have here the access rights of the sales. And you can see here that I can choose among different access right groups. In this case, I will leave it to manager. The technical feature is also important for the administrator user, allowing him to have more technical menus. We will activate it and I will show you the difference. Now let's go to the preference tab. What do we have here? The language, which is also important. I will show you just after how to upload another language. Why? Well, every user can actually work in his own language in Odoo. Makes it, of course, more easier to work. A time zone can also be entered. Let's search about my own time zone. Voila. And a default sales team can be set. This is something we will see in other videos. The messaging alias. Now what's that? Well, it is actually your internal email address used by Odoo Messaging. So if you send an email to that address from an external mailbox, you will receive the message in your Odoo inbox. We'll see that later. The notification part. Well, what's that? Well, for all the messages that you will receive in your Odoo inbox, a notification can be sent to your external email address. You can of course change the notification rule and say, I don't want to get notifications or yes, send me every time a notification. In this case, I will leave it for now or never. Let's save it. Okay, I would like to install actually a second language because a colleague of mine speaks French. So how to do that? Let's go back left to the menu and click on loaded translation. Now I have here the possibility to upload one or more languages at the time of course. In this case, I will choose the French language and click on load. As you can see here, the language has been successfully installed. OK. Let's have a look how it works. Well, for example, I would like to work in French. But I can change the language whether in my preferences tab, but also here in the upper right corner, when I click on my user, I can click here and open the same preference tab. Now I can choose among English or French. Let's test French and click Save. Odoo is now transforming all the instances into the French language. As you can see now, my instance is completely in French. But let's go back to English. So I change it again and set back the English language. Okay, I just told you that I have a colleague, so I will create a new colleague or a new user into my instance. For that I just click on the create button and I will enter first a name and of course I will enter an email.
by clicking on save, Odoo is automatically sending an invitation to my colleague to enter and create his credential to get access to the instance. So these were the first basic steps to do in order to set up your database. Thank you.